In this tutorial, we are going to be doing some multiplication and division, and we are going to be working with unsigned integers. All right, so let's start with the multiplication, and we are going to use registers A and B like last time, and well, let's make things easy for us. Let's do a times 8, 10 times 8, and then we're going to multiply. And whenever you multiply, the answer should be in register B. So we got to store B back to some spot, and that's that. So real quick, let's do some division. And we're going to be using registers D and X, which are both two bytes long for this division and we're going to be using this instruction because it's unsigned division so before we do that let's change this directive to instead of storing away a one byte long answer we need uh, two bytes of space so actually there are you can either define space this way, two bytes this way, or you can define word space, which a word in this language is just two bytes, so you could just define one word and then you have two bytes of space reserved. So, yes, let us go ahead and load D with stu 100. And let's make this a decimal number instead of hex to make it easier for us. So we're just going to put a pound sign for a decimal number. And then let's load x with, let's load x with 5. And then we're going to do this command i, um, i, d, i, v. And then store the answer, which will be in X, back to answer 2. Okay, so the answer will be in X, and the remainder will be in D, which for this problem, the remainder should just be 0. Okay. So let's step through this program. Load A, A, load B, 8, multiply, answer is in B, store 50 away, okay, and then load D with 100, which I believe in hex it's 64, so since we're loading D, and D is a 2 byte register, um, the number is going to be, I believe in this spot, because this is the big endian a big endian um thing whatever whatever that is maybe okay yes so we look okay so 100 would be in that spot and then x is going to be 5 integer division unsigned so 100 divided by 5 is 20, which is 14 in hex. And then we store that back to answer 2, which since answer 2 is 2 bytes long, the answer when we store it back should be right here, if that makes sense. Okay? All right. So that concludes this tutorial.